Good morning. Good morning, friends. I hope you had a great time celebrating moms on Mother's Day. Do you remember last week when Angela talked about how God was the greatest artist of all? Well, her book kind of ties along with it this week, but it also talks about the blessings around us. It's called The World is Awake, a celebration of everyday blessings written by Lindsay Davis. This is the day the Lord has made. A butterfly floats through the sun and the shade. While dragonflies flit past the flowers and trees and grasshoppers hop in the soft morning breeze. There they are looking outside their window at that beautiful day. Doesn't it look like a beautiful day for them? And the bees. The busy bees are buzzing today as ladybugs call them to come out and play. Look, there's the ladybugs and the bees buzzing by. Can you buzz with me? Ready? Buzz, 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 buzz. Just look at the sunrise that painted the sky and look at the songbirds all starting to fly. The world is awake. It's a wonderful place. Alive with God's power and glad with his grace. Look, they're running outside to play and their cat is tiptoeing along. And look at that dog, oh silly dog, chasing the butterfly. Out in the yard just waiting today are all kinds of things that want us to play. The gifts of the Lord are found everywhere. And all that I see is just like a prayer. So much of creation is happy and good. Even the rocks would sing if they could. There he is swinging on that tree. And she's sitting by the rock next to the pond with a flower. We call those wishing flowers at our house. Do you like to do that? Blow on the flowers? My kids do. It's in the praise of the Lord that trees grow so tall, that grass grows so green, and the flowers all call. Look at us, look at us, God dressed us up too, like the great sweeping rainbows and skies wrapped in blue, like water and sunshine and summer days too. And you, beautiful, beautiful you. Look, they're laying on the grass next to all the flowers, looking up at the beautiful rainbow going by. And later today, what should we do? I know, I know, let's go to the zoo. We can buy a balloon and meet a baboon. We can look at all the animals all, all afternoon. Look at them driving to the zoo. How exciting is that? Do you like the zoo? I love the zoo. See that bear over there? He's just trying to snooze despite all the noise from that young kangaroo. The slippery otters are swimming along. The playful coyotes are howling a song. Look, there's that bear and the kangaroo and the otters swimming on their back. How fun is that? I love zebras and lions and elephants too. Pandas and penguins and owls that call. Woo. Peacocks and panthers, a great mountain sheep and that grumpy old bear who is trying to sleep. Look at all those animals in there. There's that elephant and look at the sleeping lion. What is your favorite animal at the zoo? I like the lions. Down at the zoo, they are all on a parade. The wonderful creatures the good Lord has made. Look at them all marching along. How fun is that? My belly sounds like the bear when it growls. It's time for supper. My tummy now howls. Let's stop at the market for something to eat. God always provides us with wonderful treats. Look at their leaving the zoo, say bye-bye zoo. And there they are at the market. 
Do you like going to the farmer's market? I love seeing all the fresh fruits and vegetables at the farmer's market. At supper time, I take my chair and I bow my head and say a prayer to thank the Lord for all this food, for carrots cooked and apples stewed, for milk and juice and bread and cheese, and for even Brussels sprouts and peas. It tastes so good. I eat and then I thank the Lord for food again. Look, they're all eating dinner and look, they even have their balloons with them. And with my belly full, I start to yawn. The light outside is almost gone. There they are going up the stairs, rubbing their eyes. How tired can they be after such a long day? Up in the trees, high in the leaves, I hear God's love and the sound of the breeze. The wind is whispering stories tonight, and far above the moon shines bright. Look, there they are, looking out their window at the beautiful night. So I say my prayers and climb into bed, and then snuggle up close while my books are read. The comforting night feels calm and deep, calling me down to a dreamy sleep, calling me down to a dreamy sleep. There he is praying with his dog and teddy bear and mom sitting next to him reading his book. Calling me down to dream and sleep. There he is, fast asleep. The end. See, God is an amazing artist, isn't he? Like Angela said. And one way we can celebrate his amazingness is go on a scavenger hunt this week. Go and look at all the amazing creatures and the beautiful trees and flowers. My favorite thing to look at are the leaves. You know why? Because they are unique, just like us. Every leaf is different because God made us all unique inside. And that is the wonderful thing he has done. I hope you have a great week and I will see you next time. Bye.